Welcome to Wine Times. Uh, I'm here today with the famous Larry Tompkins here in his uh, Larry Tompkins Cox Sporting Club, one of the part of Cox City. Uh, like to welcome Larry on the, on, on the review. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, an Australian wine um, from an area called Bendigo. Uh, the famous grape variety of Australia, Shiraz, uh, 2007, and it's a label called Waterway. Uh, this is a, again a style that in Ireland is very, very uh, very popular right now, probably to do with our weather, our climate, our cold nights and our windy weather and cold and snow etc. And no perfect way to, uh, to curl up with a glass of this in front of the fire in those cold, winterish Irish nights. Uh, Larry, do you, what's your earliest memory of wine that you can think of back in the... Probably not much memories in the playing days I suppose, or it shouldn't be, <laughs> but it probably is. No, uh, I suppose my wife uh, likes the drop of wine. Very good. And um, I think my daughter, when I was uh, seven years ago now, when I was or christening, we had a nice kind of a, a wine night, and uh, we sampled a lot of wines, and uh, and uh, it tasted very well. And I suppose a little bit of a, a pain in the head the next yeah, morning. Yeah, <laughs> we weren't training the next it's morning, good, so it's, okay. it's good for you anyway, the, as well. By the way, a good, good bit of red wine is nice and good for the old arteries and all that. Ah, it is, of course. When, when, uh, when, when you said it there, the Australian uh, wine, like it's uh, it's amazing in Australia because they seem to be very very good at sport over there. So yep. they taste the wine a lot, so it must be good for That's you. True, so. Uh, it seems that these uh, these countries that are good at sport very often are good at wine as well. When you think of Australia, you think of South Africa, New Zealand as well, and even South America, Argentina. So there seems to be something with a good sports and good wine anyway. So today is a is a, is a good example, a good a good way to try that. And um, with your own business here, uh, um, Larry, do you do you find that the trend amongst wine drinkers is it growing towards the bottled wines by the glass now, as opposed to away from the quarter bottles, or what's the trend you see here in the in Larry Tompkins? Oh well, it's amazing. Like uh, I would say, like that wine has picked up with me here in the last let's say 12 months. I'd say 50 percent. Yeah, very good. Like it's um, it's tremendous. Like and actually for the women drinkers, yeah. they'll come in in the threes and fours, and we do a deal there with uh, yeah. the large bottle of wine, and yeah, uh, yeah. they tend to sit around yeah. and. Uh, have the chat, they might tend to come in for one, but then yeah. after they might have about three bottles. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they'll be, uh, they'll be asking me to put cheese on the table and stuff like that. So that, that's on the way, and the strawberries and stuff like that. But yeah, um, it no, it's 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 uh, so it moved towards full bottles, Larry. Do you yeah, I'd say yeah. like that, uh, it seems to be the trend. It, 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 I suppose that people are looking for that competitiveness too, mm, and, and yeah. maybe going for the quarter bottle. Okay, looks good, but I suppose again, like it's it can be expensive, like for the one yeah. person, and, and they might have. Uh, a little bit more in the glass in it, and, and whereas in the large yeah. bottle, they're able to bring in a few of their friends, and it's yeah. um, uh, you know it's a nice, comfortable night, nice and, uh, and 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 they can you know wine and dine there for the rest of the evening. And you of know? course, with a full bottle, you have, don't have to be going up and down to the bar. You can have, you have a bottle at your table, and you, you're there, and you have your six drinks, and, and that's it. And that's it, and it looks good. Then when you probably bring down the. There may be the ice and the and the stuff in it with yeah. the, with the bottle of wine and, yeah, and yeah. they like to be pampered a bit. So, yeah, yeah. Tis, uh, you know, it's, I think it's the way forward. I think it's yeah. uh, certainly the large bottle is working out very well. And, and of course, in Ireland, no, we we were drinking 20 years ago when you first started playing in Larry, I suppose we were, we were at three or four liters ahead, and now we're up to 17, 18 liters ahead. You probably see that in that everyday business. That there is an awareness now of wine, and it's it's everything about it. Well, yeah, it's, yeah. it's uh, as I said, it's. Actually, you know, we, we do a lot of food here, and certainly it's it's nice. People tend to uh, like to have a glass of wine with the with the with the with the meal. So, and uh, you know, it makes the meal a bit special. And, and actually, the special times, like you know, you had Valentine's night last night. Yeah, yeah. You know, you had uh, you know the Christmas times. Yeah. Uh, periods of time like where where wine just goes through the roof, and, and sure. people like to come in and, and 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 just do that. But certainly, it has been a a big uptake at, uh, in, in, in this game, you know. And do you notice a, a swift, uh, Larry, between, a, a switch between white wine in the summer when the temperatures are a bit warmer towards red wine in the winter when it's colder? Do you see that actually physically in Larry Duncan? Yeah, I'd say that yeah. that's a relevant point. I'd say yeah. like that certainly, um, you know, come the summertime, people like to chill wine and, and yeah, go yeah. for the, the white. And certainly in the winter time, then particularly there yeah. before Christmas, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and maybe they wouldn't be going. Yeah, they wouldn't be going for the chill one. They'd be going yeah. for the the one off the shelf and, and actually the red wine. And it's amazing. It's a kind of natural, unbeknownst to people. Sometimes I, I feel more like a red wine tonight because it's colder. It's yeah, it's not and, and then you have this thing too, like that, uh, as you mentioned earlier, like this, you know, red wine is supposed to be good for you, and, yeah, and yeah, people, yeah, you yeah. know, get it. You know, when they, when when people kind of push this on you, and maybe people say to you, like, you know, there's no harm in a uh, drop yeah. of red wine. It's good for yeah, you. Yeah. It's, it's like might be the old. Uh, you know, pint bottles of Guinness years ago, like when they used to be inside nearly in the hospitals. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, the same yeah. thing on here with the red yeah. wine now, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, Larry, I'm going to try this wine. And I suppose it's probably good to uh, show the viewers that uh, this wine again is screw cap, or Stelvin as we call it, of course, which uh, 10 years ago when it came in, people didn't know what to make it, but it actually is a, it's a quality issue. And it, um, 
uh, brings uh, wastage and wind down to less than 1% and it's actually a quality control issue. So that's what we're doing there. We're going to pour a little bit there, Larry. Larry, will they ever forgive, forgive you up until they're coming down to the bar? <laughs> Would you think at this stage they've probably got over it? Well. I don't know, so we'll, we'll, I won't turn the, the, the Kildare way right, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stay with the red wine and <laughs> we, won't, we won't turn the red into white. Yes, so it, um, it, it was Cork's game anyway. All right. So there we go. It's, uh, so it's a red wine, it's 2006 Shiraz, or 2007 Shiraz, excuse me. And uh, again, it's from Bendigo. Again, the colour is quite quite dark, as you can see, which normally is Shiraz. Hard to see through. Good alcohol levels, again, the way it's sticking to the glass. Then on the nose, now we have... Again, that classic blackcurrant cassis fruit, uh, spiciness, bit of vanilla, bit of new oak there as well. So it's promising a lot. It's almost, Larry, you can smell this Australian sunshine almost off the, off the grapes here. And that's the one strength, of course, with Australia. It's sunshine ours. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, have no, you no. toured to Australia over the years, uh, Larry? I have. Yeah. I've been there. Uh, a beautiful country. Yeah. Um, a really nice. Uh, actually, it's a very clean country. And yeah. I suppose uh, what amazed me about it, well, I spent a good bit of time in America. What amazed me about Australia in particular was that uh, how healthy the people is, like yeah. you know what I mean. The outdoor, the, the outdoor, they, yeah. they yeah. tend to walk, they tend to cycle. Yes, of course. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. They're very active in relation to the, yeah. the sport, and yeah. of course, they love their wines. Well, <laughs> well as well. That's it. So sure. Let's try it on the palate, Larry. Okay. Okay, now I always feel like Shiraz is like a typical Aussie male. You know, big hairy legs. Uh, hat in the box and a big bowl or whatever. And this wine is no different. I think you can feel it straight away, Larry. Can't you in the mouth? Yeah, well, I, th I, I think think I think a good wine. I'm no expert on it, but I think a good wine is when uh, the the tears and they come in your eyes. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's like hitting the back of another. That's, 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 that's it. That's, that's it. That's it. So uh, I yeah. think I'd, I'd recommend this. This yeah, is very very good. It's very well priced, and again the length on it, and the alcohol, everything is very balanced. So it's like a it's like a good football team. Everything is working together, yeah. working for the common good or whatever. Yeah. So. So, so that's there you have it, Larry. It's a pleasure to ha have you uh, reviewing the wine oh, and uh, listen again. Thank God, uh, Kildare's last was Cork's game, oh, and uh, it's a pleasure and an honour. Oh, Cheers, Larry. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks very much.